Hey there, today we are going to be doing this amazing twisted type effect in Adobe After Effects. Kinetic Kinetic type series. Series by Hulk79. So let's start from scratch. I'm going to duplicate this composition with Ctrl or Command D. And then I'm going to go inside and I'm going to get rid of all the effects that we have here because what we need is just a beautiful type that's contained on a text layer here and in this case we are working with with polymath uh, and I really like it this very very stylish sans serif and this is going to be very straightforward very easy what we need here is the CC scatterize effect we applied to the layer here okay and my advice is always to just when you uh, are trying new stuff in terms of effects what you need to do is just play with it and with the controls so that you start understanding what's going on there and don't don't mind about going somewhere that you think you are not going to control it anymore because all the effects have this button here that says reset and if you uh, click it you are going back to uh, default so let's go to the beginning and we are going to create a keyframe here in right twist and then we are going to go forward for example to frame 10 and we are going to put here a one that meaning that this is an entire rotation and then in left twist whenever this is finished we are going to create a first keyframe here in left twist when it is set to zero and then we are going to go to frame 20 and we are going to do the same this is going to be set to one so right twist zero to one and then left twist zero to one and if we preview this, you see that this is a complete rotation. So let's start having fun with this. If we hit U, we are going to see all the keyframes and I'm going to separate them just by selecting all of them and holding on Alt or Option. If you click and drag from the last one, you are going to be making all the animations lower. So that's interesting. And the next thing is that I'm going to I'm going to change the first and the last one to easy keyframes. So I select the first one and the last one and I'm going to click F9 or right click here keyframe assistant easy ease, okay? And then I'm going to go inside the graph editor which is uh, the axis is here with this button. And now it's a matter of selecting the last keyframe and the first one and just I'm going to click here to see this better in this button below and I'm going to start just dragging this controller here that meaning that this is going to be very soft the landing or how the animation ends and sorry for that and in the beginning the same I'm going to select this one here and I'm going to extend this Bezier handle so that if I now preview the animation by hitting spacebar you see that now is way more interesting so now is the time now that I we are happy with the animation timing is the is, is the moment <laughs> to play with the visual style of this so here in scatter and also something that you are noticing here is that this effects this effect by default create this amazing let's go a little bit closer to this kind of motion blur effect which I really love it feels very very, very photographic in a way uh, and that's great but if we come here to scatter and we increase this value you see how amazing this is it's kind of dissolving uh, uh, but yeah it's like if you play with the scatter and with the transfer mode here you see there are different modes that resemble 
like the way layers behave here in After Effects and in Photoshop. So this is really interesting. I'm going to keep it in composite. Okay. Uh, and yeah, that's amazing. So now another thing that we can do is we can try a specific look which we are going to achieve by stacking some effects here. So I'm going to go for the fast box blur, which I love, and I'm going to apply it to the layer. I'm going to set it to 2, for example, and then I'm going to go for some levels, okay? And we did this a lot of times. This is a matter of trying to uh, make this to have some volume. So if we in levels we go to the alpha channel controls and we start messing with these controllers you see that this is starting to look like something okay so it's kinda grunge but yeah I, I like it you know like maybe if we increase the fast box blur to 5 yeah this is this is getting somewhere and obviously this is not a clean look like this is not very Swiss <laughs> so to say but for me it has this kind of Neville Brody vibe you know this 90s blur type that is amazing so yeah that's that's pretty much it so going back a little bit to the beginning you need uh, just a, say, a text layer then we apply it this CC scatterize, scatterize, I don't know how to say this, and then it's a matter of to have a complete rotation, you go for uh, for right twist 0 to 1, and then left twist the same thing 0 to 1, so that makes like kind of a complete twist rotation. So, yeah, that's it. So another thing that I wanted to, remi uh, to remind you is that I have this, this shop and this, this Buy Me A Coffee webpage where you can help me by, uh, with a donation, a contribution and I, would, uh, I have some stuff here going on like even some After Effects project, projects are for free so take advantage of that and if you want to, to uh, consider it uh, just buy something I'm going to appreciate it a lot and it is going to help us continuing this amazing journey that it's learning together in YouTube. So that was that and see you in the next one. Kinetic Kinetic type type series. Series by Hulk 79.